Hi, I'm Stephanie Eisard from Girl on the Go in Los Angeles in Chicago. Girl on the Go opened in 2010. Um, the name actually came from my last name as a type of goat in French. So my family says Izard, it's Izard, it's a mountain goat that lives in the Pyrenees Mountains. So that's why I have a goat on everything I wear. Um, and it kind of became the, the beacon or the mascot for all of our restaurants. This is much better than this. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, this is that. The cuisine at Girl on the Go is really hard to describe. I guess I just think it's um, a lot of flavors from all over. It's sort of traveling through foods. So you can taste things from different parts of the world. It's always in your face, bold flavors. Um, some sort of surprising flavor combinations from time to time. Always thinking about flavors and textures. And it's just supposed to make your whole mouth happy. When you walk into Girl on the Go, whether in Chicago or in Los Angeles, you're meant to walk in and feel warm and welcome. As you go in, you see Guests smiling, you see all the people working there smiling. The kitchen's open so you can see all the cooks sort of working their butts off but also having a good time. And it's just supposed to be a fun vibe. So a lot of thought goes into each dish and each component. In front of me, we have our pork shank kit. It's featuring this little goat went to Yucatan sauce, roasted pork shanks, some sweet potatoes, a little fall salad. Perfect for a fall dinner. You actually get the pork um, coming to you already par-cooked where we're just gonna rub it with one of my favorite sauces. This little goat went to Yucatan. This is celebrating all of the earthy notes of chilies, bringing in some brightness from citrus, celebrating that region of the world in the Yucatan Peninsula. We're gonna rub that all over the outside of the pork and it just gets roasty, yummy, delicious. Citrus, bright, a little bit spicy. We've got some sweet potatoes on the side that we're gonna make a simple sauce to go on. And then we're gonna serve it with a nice sort of fall salad. Sometimes you think salads can be boring, but I promise this one is not. We're gonna send you QP mayonnaise. This is my favorite mayonnaise in the world. And we're just gonna add a little bit of the This Little Goat Went to Yucatan to the mayo. And this is gonna be a literal topper for our shank and for our sweet potatoes. And then what's cool is we're gonna add a little bit of extra citrus to it to turn it into our salad dressing. So I love being able to take one sauce and sort of just add another layer of ingredients to turn it into um, a second use in a meal. So this little goat went to Yucatan and mayo. We can put just a little dollop kind of like right on our shank that you can enjoy while eating it. The earthiness and the citrus from this sauce on top, it just kind of brings it to a whole new level. All right, so I'm gonna cut a lime in half and just add this to our mayonnaise and Yucatan mixture. And this is gonna make a simple vinaigrette that's gonna go onto our salad. So set that aside for a second. We're just gonna add some more things to our salad. So we've got some beautiful lettuce. Um, we've got some butternut squash that's raw and just shaved thin. It's such a great addition to salads. It adds this great texture. I think a lot of times people roast squash, of course, um, but eating it raw in a salad, it's delicious. It's nice and crunchy. Then we've got some roasted shiitakes. Then we're gonna add in some avocado. One of my favorite ingredients. I think that um, if I were to choose one of my favorite things to just eat, people always ask chefs, what's your desert island foods that you would have? I'm always like, avocados and bananas. I could just live on them probably. This is definitely fall in a bowl. And then this is a ginormous apple. I'm just gonna use a portion of it. Cut it in half. And just add that little bit of tart and sweet. I love to use fruit in my savory cooking. I'm gonna drizzle some of the dressing right over the top. and you can leave a little bit more on the side so folks can kind of add it in as they're eating. And then lastly, going to top it with a little bit of cilantro just to bring in some nice herby notes. Um, I love using a lot of herbs at my restaurants as well. A little bit of cilantro right over the top. And then lastly, our This Little Goat went to Mexico Crunch. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of earthiness. And it's all about crunch. I think it's been determined that in my restaurants, Everything has a little bit of probably a mayonnaise sauce, a little bit of pickled things, or just something super yummy along those lines, and a little bit of crunchy. If you get the kit for four and you have two shanks that come, feel free to put one of those in the freezer to hold for a really long time, even just in the refrigerator for over a week because it's cryovacked in a bag and it's really good for holding on to. It's also great if you roast it and you have leftovers. I love to take that extra meat, put in an omelet in the morning, put it on a sandwich the next day. Think of a sandwich of a grilled cheese for lunch the next day, a little bit of pork on there, a little bit of that sweet potato with some nice tangy white cheddar. I'm just saying that could be delicious.